So today I decided to do something different. I saved a Reddit post long time ago and recently remembered about it. It is called, What is some of the most terminally online discourse in K-pop you all have seen? If you don't know, chronically online means someone who is basically always on the internet and their entire existence revolves around being on the internet. People who are chronically online typically have no real friends IRL and stay online, starting useless debates that literally achieve nothing outside of a screen. So I decided to go through it together. I saw some people on TikTok arguing that Dreamcatcher shouldn't call their fans insomnia because it's disrespectful to people who actually suffer from insomnia. As someone with insomnia this is absolutely hilarious. People arguing over who the real it boy is. From the way people are fighting you'd think it boy was a real quantifiable achievement like a day saying lol. Saw a 33-year-old woman drag Minji from a tease for his TW, mental health issues and anxiety because a fan called him it boy and that was my cue to log off the stupid bird app. Brothers and sisters can hold hands? I'm still hoping that was sarcasm. As someone with brothers it is ridiculous they have to never experience what it is genuinely like to have a brother or sister and it is not the first time I see this happen as it happened with the Moon siblings not that long ago during a dance performance together. I once saw a thread of a once and a blink going back and forth, dragging each other's faves performance mistakes. Not that unusual, but good lord, they were going into serious detail look at X here, she's half a beat late what a dozen yeah okay but that was the 19th song she was better in the 20th yeah no that was the 3rd song, look I have carefully cut the clip to show you I swear, these two were probably watching the entire concert like police detectives going through security footage. It was hilarious. I saw someone upset RM dropped an album and hijacked Jin's birthday like you really think these late 20s early 30s dudes care about their birthdays like that? Be serious. People using idols partying as something to drag them about. Have they never heard of having fun? How is going to a party something bad? Non-famous people like to party, so why is it bad for an idol to do it? Also dragging people for dating more than one person? That's how life is, most people date different people throughout their life, how is that a bad thing? People dragging Jenny for having a great social life are such losers. I don't see how any of that is drag worthy. 95% of plagiarism accusations, I literally can't believe the mental gymnastics they jump through to justify it. The recent mind-numbingly dumb one I saw was that RM copied Big Bang Still Life MV by having scenes where he's in a field of flowers, in an MV for a song called Wild Flower. My favorite was when some netizens accused JYP of plagiarism because the Yeji and Ryujin mix and Max covers used a twins concept and therefore must be stealing from Red Velvet because Solji and Irene used a twin concept. The two approaches couldn't be more different. Except both are great. When armies attacked Sianwa for saying he learned to love himself because of his fans because apparently only BTS and ARMY can love themselves. I'll add that some of them tried to use arguments that narrow down to well BTS and ARMY's got hate for talking about loving themselves so it's only fair for Sianwa to get hate too. I've also seen people on TikTok bring up that new jeans are apparently getting hate for having brand ambassadorships because Blackpink got hate for it too. In general, the My Idols got hate for this, so therefore everyone else who does it should get hate too because it's fair is my answer. Yeah, it's wrong for people to hate idols for innocent things, but hating other people is not the right way to go about it. Oh, also, that post from one of these godforsaken K-pop subreddits where OP argued that Blackpink singing about how rich they are was problematic because of how bad the global economy is right now. It was a reach LMAO. To be honest, a lot of what's written about Blackpink on the site qualifies for a please log off discourse award. Not cause Blackpink gets some shit on Reddit I can't. I once saw someone say that I bring money to your table not your dinner line and type of girl was disrespectful and offensive to housewives and they were being serious. The whole Wanyang and Gul Airport discourse on TikTok, 
Think pieces upon think pieces over how Wan Young is an evil attention-seeking monster over a five-second clip. The amount of hate she got for that was insane. Like even if she was trying to get to the center, obviously that's her position in her group and she's probably been instructed to stand there by her agency. It's not even a big deal to be honest. I remember some people saying that it was insensitive for Espa to debut with a song called Black Mamba since Kobe died a few months prior. I remember people theorizing that it was either supposed to somehow reference Kobe, or reference Kill Bill, because that's the main character's nickname. Of course, the correct answer was, neither LMAO. I saw a TikTok of people headcanoning BTS as different races, all of the replies were people making their own headcanons, OMG I always saw Hobi as Latino, and Tay as Middle Eastern Yumi feels more Japanese to me, and Namjoon is black. Really weird side of ARMY I stumbled upon. Anyway one of the comments had canon Yungkook as white and this caused a big argument in the replies accusing each other of being racist. God, reading this made me want to inhale some grass on God. What do you think about this? This was my first time making this kind of video, if you want another video like this comment below. Or maybe even share your experience with delusional fans and I would put in the video. It all depends on you guys. Thank you guys for watching and supporting this channel, it means a lot to me. See you next time.